Welcome back to the channel, The Wolf of London. Um, it's been a few days, don't get me wrong, I've been busy with work, but I'm back. I hope all of you are amazing. Anyone that's new to the channel, please do subscribe, it does help. We just hit the 150 mark. I'm happy, like, really, really happy. I can't even see it here in 150, being honest, at this time, this early. Next goal, 200. Let's see if we can get there. So if you're new, please do subscribe. You can always unsubscribe if you don't like it. And for those that are already subscribed, thank you. Anyway, um, so we're going to be looking at Super Stonk on Reddit. Um, there's a few other different video ideas that will be coming out fairly shortly. Um, but yeah, for now, let's just check Super Stonk. So some of these posts I was dying to check. Like, I just I just couldn't wait. I couldn't wait, but I wanted to record it. Um, so yeah, Barons responded to my inquiry. Oh yeah, by the way, we're looking at what's top today. Um, let's see this full image. To whom it may concern, I was generally inspired by our root stocks are down because Mondays are a lousy day for the market. That's absolute bullshit. What? <laughs> First day in the market's bad just because of the day of the week. That's ridiculous. I'm working up. I'm working on a follow up piece that would I would yeah, that I would be interested in featuring on your website for a fee, of course. The title is a work in progress, but I'm currently thinking of going with stocks are up because Tuesdays are a fantastic day for the market. Can you please put me in touch with whoever my agent needs to speak with in order to get the process started? I'm eager to kick start kick off my career in journalism uh can we scroll down is that is that the bottom uh and then just put regards um very sarcastic as you can tell um yeah amazing this is the kind of shit posted up here for <laughs> yeah agreed christine a hundred percent agreed um yeah that that was good um hmm I think we have the meme photo on actually, is it? Oh no no no, my bad, just a couple memes actually did make it to the top. Uh, my yogurt has spoken, yeah I saw that one. Um, would you call an ape who wins the lottery? A gorillionaire. And yeah, I mean, the fact this was inside a kid's yogurt lunch pack. Interesting. I mean, loads of animals, it could have been a giraffe in there. Whoa, whoa. Uh, I don't know, an auto wear or something like that, but a gorillionaire. Very, very good. This picture is so amazing, I had to put it as my chrome background. Hold on, I'm going to show you guys. Like, uh, there we go. For some weird reason, though, I can't get the aspect ratio correct. So, like, yeah. Every time I move it, it moves the image, as you can see. But, yeah. I was like, that that is amazing. I love it. Let me use that. So yeah, shout out to this person. Really like big big shout out. How am I not following you? Hold on. Uh, N E C O U K. Okay, ne Nico Neko. But yeah, shout out to you. Oh, first delivery at York, uh, P A. I'm so sorry. I don't know states in America like that. Uh, is it Pennsylvania? I don't. I don't know. Facility in the books, onwards. Um, special shout out for those that made it happen. So let's say you got a team of a couple, I don't know, 100, maybe, yeah, like 100 staff working in the warehouse. Nice, nice. Also, like how it has the diamond hands in the pot, yeah. Nice, nice. Oh yeah, Ryan Cohen's post on Twitter. Um, yeah, so like he posted about approximately twenty four hours ago or less. This we're gonna go on Twitter actually just just to open up that short tweet. Um, close. So here it is. You got a picture of Ryan Cohen posted at eighteen hours ago. PG thirteen. PG is just for, for parental guidance. So when you go to watch like a movie or something, you have age ratings and PG-13 literally means you need to be 13 or older to watch it. So it's probably got moderate um, sexual jokes or moderate violence, but nothing too much that the average 
early team can't mentally handle. Um, but yeah, we see that, and then we saw a couple amazing memes come from that post. <laughs> oh gosh, we're gonna look at it. Wheelchair for sale. Need some money for Jimmy. New ties added just this year. Now, this shows commitment, people. Commitment, like really commitment. Shields are gonna be shields and threatened. Hello again. I believe you made a post about me completely mis misrepresenting me to the point that I'll call it slander. Please remove. Uh, please remove my post, or my lawyer will be in contact. Not being funny, social media, Jesus Christ. A screenshot of your statement is not slander, nor is it defamation. Even if it was defamation, it's justified if the information communicated is true. What is more true than a screenshot of your statement? Go ask your lawyer. Okay, you are reported to Reddit for promoting harassment. I will go through Reddit in older... Wait, you leave it spelled older. Is that a T? Jeez. Yeah, that's a T, mate. You, you can't spell. Uh, older to get your details to ensure this type of situation doesn't happen. Good day, sir. You are reported for promoting shillery. Yes! Yes! Apprehensive news 5728. Oh, yeah, sorry, my throat's a little bit. It's not the best right now. A little bit sore. But yeah, oh my god. <laughs> Oh, this is amazing. This should just be a meme. This should be a meme in itself. Like, oh, it's, it's just amazing. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, by the way, I am boiling hot right now. I think it's like, I don't know. It's it's really, really hot in London. It's disgusting. It's like 28 degrees and it's very human. Humid. Not human. He humid. Sorry. Bullish job list. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I forgot to upgrade. The Fidelity Brokerage Technology Margin Development Group is looking for the principal software engineer with advanced Java skills who wants to help us expand and modernize our suite of applications and be a leader on the team. This person will be working in a complex margin processing domain, option pairing, portfolio margin, limited margin, buying power with calculations, etc. Basically, options and margin, margin literally credit spreads. Using a multi-platform application, we are currently building new functionality, modernizing legacy mainframe applications and migrating to the cloud. Our applications are an integral part of the trading day and overnight batch, so you get an, so you get to experience the ups and downs of the stock market and be right in the middle of events like the GameStop short squeeze. Now, the fact a lot of people say it's already happened, which is BS, so... The fact you're hearing this from Fidelity saying short squeeze events something to happen not has happened to happen bullish as fuck am I right people am I right if you're not I'm so sorry I got distracted by that if you're not attending Mu Jam please talk about gaming on the stuff okay now nah, 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 I'm going to skip that Yep, I love that. Look, oh, it's so amazing. Oh, it's 9.1k now. That one, like, actually made a difference. But yeah, you got, what's his name? Shitadel, uh, uh, Shelvin Capital, and we got Ryan Cohen. Of course, it's the take on the meme with the cat, but yeah. Beautiful meme. Beautiful meme. Um, Elliot Waves, GME, the S&P 500, and the beginning of the end. Ooh, we might need to get into this DD. Very, very long DD, as I can see. Holy shit. Okay, cool. You know what? Screw it. DD time. Let's go. Sup, apes. Not financial advice. I'm a degenerate that draws on my computer screen for a living. I don't even know where to start other than play this song before reading. Alright. What song is it? I don't even use Spotify. Um, if it's gonna play an advert, please don't play an ad. Yeah, it's gonna tell me sign in. Okay, this is a song it wanted me to listen to. Um, yeah. I don't know. I I can't be asked to go on YouTube. I really can't. What a day. Jimmy was relatively flat, but the broad market was a shit show. 
I have a lot to go over, so strap in and get ready for some pre colors. But bear in mind, this is the 20, 21 hours ago, so this is not this is not talking about Tuesday. This is talking about Monday. Monday, Tuesday. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. Don't worry. Do not worry. Um, a few weeks back ago, I made this post going over Jimmy's buy levels. I believe that said expected four, three, six to hit before a sharp sell off. Before going over Jimmy, I'd like to once again update you on my spy levels. As a EW trader, you have to adapt to structures as they form and let the trends play out. Let me just pick that up. Of all the coins, Doge dropped and it landed head side saying wow, but anyway, that was an accident. Um, but yeah. As a EW trader, you have to adapt to yeah, the play out. For reasons I'm updating my targets, hit me if you want the first one hit. I just see more upside from here, but not much. Here's an hourly view. See if you can understand what you're looking at before I explain. If you looked at this and came to the conclusion that there's more, there is likely more upside, that is correct. That's because you looked at a minute count white. While well, you can today, well, wow. You can see today was actually a wave for looking deeper. The minute count, sorry, minute 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 minute. Yeah. Purple waves were in the white waves. You can clearly see the five uh, waves up, followed by the ABC down to complete the four. So what does this mean from here? Short answer: more upside, at least in my honest opinion. Today looked to have completed a 4 out of 5 or 5 out of 5. Originally I thought 4, 3, 6 ish would be the top however after closing exactly exacting the structure I see one last push the last hurrah. Okay well let's get this picture open so we've got a spy um okay cool um I mean you've got a chart saying a percentage of, of likelihood it'll drop to certain prices or increase to certain prices. Hmm. You've got the dates, what volumes, you can see when the market's been open and closed. Interesting, cool, cool. Um hmm. if you did upside, cool. What does this mean from show on some upside to do it cool? Also put yourself in the shoes of every retail investor that isn't aware of the bullshit surrounding the markets. They see COVID Delta variant sparks Wall Street sell off and think the market's crashing today. If I'm right, I expect to see more green. I'll spy from here. To put it bluntly, I see 444, 447, 460 as a final 5 out of 5, 5 out of 5 targets. These are spreads out as I haven't seen the new trend play out. As it starts to develop, you can re evaluate. But these are base targets. Could go higher, could go lower, or it could just fall and the entire analysis is wrong. Something to consider today is a C wave purple final leg down of wave 4. Actually, hit a super bearish extension level at 2.618. When this happens, a lot of speculation that a downtrend is starting is valid. A tip to see if this is the case is if. Yeah, so. My, my reading skills are so bad today. Like, not like it's better any other day, really is if this truly is the beginning of a bear market we will not break above the previous high of b wave at three four three six point five ish if we break above think the trend is still bullish as i expect it to also the fix what a day finished up 21 percent wow love to see it but wouldn't give it too much attention until it breaks 30 that's when shit really gets interesting I'm um, also expecting the VIX to sell back down in the middle of the week based on collapse and bearish divergence. Pro tips. We're looking at a relative strength, uh, relative strength index. If the stock might make a higher high on a lower RSI region or vice versa with lows, we can expect a reversal. Higher high on a lower RSI expected drop. Hmm. Hold on. Let's get a whole picture. Okay. So we got the higher high, but over here you can see it's over eight. Sorry, over seventy. So it's overbought. Yeah, around here, it's not even overbought. Didn't even touch it, and the sell off happened. 
<sighs> Somewhat correct. Somewhat correct. Now, onto GME, real quick, before I begin, here's the bull case visualized over the next few weeks slash months. Alright, cool. Um, you can see that we're not, we're not going past this anytime soon. Like, you have to really be patient. I mean, this long line signals the new year, so this is about end of the year. So this signals 2023. So guys, remember, it's buy, hold, and do not sell. Just be patient. Sleep on it if you have to. Also, I'm just checking something on my phone to make sure I don't miss my delivery for food. I've ordered Taco Bell. Yes. I'll... When that thing came over to the UK, I was so excited to try it. And I'm in love with it. Anyway. This is just a road map assuming all common ratios are hit which Jimmy doesn't always do as it's anything but a typical stock but nonetheless good to visualize and manifest short term this was exactly like May right before we ran to 344 here are possible is it minute or minute it can't be minute that's nice minute Okay, that word I'm pronouncing is so wrong. I, I, I'm not going to continue pronouncing it any more wrong than I already am. So, yeah, bear, bear with me and forgive me for feeling real stupid for doing it. Ugh, Bing. No, 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 no. We, we never use Bing. No, no, no. How dare you come up, Bing. Um, yeah, so. Minouette. Minouette. Why is it a Oh my god. Minuet. 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 Okay, cool. Minuet, whatever. Cool. Um, but yeah. Yeah, our possible minuet wave free targets. Cool. Let's look at this. 190, uh, 196, 200, 207. Now, what's a bit funny is, bear in mind, this, this came out 21 hours ago. So this is after Monday, right? After Monday. Let's open the chart today. Okay, no. Why is Bing still coming up? Okay, I'm going to change my search browser. I'm using Windows Explorer. Sorry, Internet Explorer because Google Chrome, for some reason on my videos, just doesn't work. For some things, but we're not gonna delve into that. Um, so yeah, Jimmy stock. Let's look at it. So today it really, really was very interesting. Um, you can see it opened at one seven three um point nine zero. It went as low as one seven two point four. Sorry, one seven two point four two. Um, overall the whole day is up ten point two four percent, and then even in the after hours, um. It hasn't really moved too too much. Like it went down like a percent and one point three four percent. Right now it's just like down zero point zero nine, so almost almost zero point one percent, but a little bit less. It's down eighteen cents, literally closing at one nine one, which I think is very very sus. Um. Yeah, very very sus. There's still a little bit more of after hours to uh, play, I believe. So, yeah. We will see. I don't care too much for intraday action. I'm happy about the uptrend is finally holding after shot. 1.618. C wave down from my recent highs. I need the structure to play out more before assigning more targets. But as for now, we're seemingly completed. Um, I can't remember how to pronounce that word. That is so bad. At the 0 0.618 retrace level. So. Hmm. 0% chance there, 100% chance back here, um, 
but it'd be nice if there was some figures on the side to see well do you know it's possible that it was just an a b complete and in which case we'll watch for a low of around 157.75 tomorrow here's why on a micro scale um well tomorrow came and it never hit that if anything all right cool um so 172.49 it went down to 172.42 interesting interesting so just a smallest amount like seven cents off that is so accurate so so accurate and then what what did it where did it go um hmm. sorry it went to 191 so pretty much 100 percent. It, it just went through it went all the way through and broke out of that now another rejection cool too lazy to do a read for this nonsensical macro analysis by the dip if there is one cool um saying about going to 157.75 if that's true people are gonna load up the boat um yep and then just talks about moon jam um an event which will be happening from today yeah from today basically wait what hold 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 on did i just read that right july 16 400k puts yeah t plus two days Hold on. Two trading days, that's the 20th, which is this, plus 35 trading days. T35 is August 20th. How? Two days for the contracts that have to be exercised. 35 days. It's like, oh my god, and it's literally calling it. We live, oh my. I don't know what to say, I really don't know what to say. If they made up the markets are crashing because of COVID variant then i see the same thing that happened today happen tomorrow otherwise there's a whole excuse would be for nothing i think this whole week jimmy slowly runs up to 225 ish interesting interesting we'll see about that um <laughs> when she was all wrong about their guess of 140 end of week <laughs> bye bye <laughs> this account doesn't exist Warden underscore Lee. Oh my god, that name just sounds so dodge. It just doesn't sound right. Oh, oh, oh. I thought PG wasn't to do with PG. I thought it was page. What's that? What page 13? But everyone stuck with PG as a literal parental guidance. New Ryan commentary. Not PG 13 movie, but page 13, as in page 13 of the Jimmy prospectus the page talks about units and oh yeah those chopsticks usually you split those apart when you open the package jimmy stock split um oh food is on its way interesting we may issue stock purchase contracts representing contracts obliging Obligating holders to purchase from us and us to sell to the holders a specific a specified or varying amount of shares. Oh my god. Varying numbers of shares of common stock or preferred stock at a future date or dates. Alternatively, the stock 
purchase contract. Okay, let me zoom in because I'm struggling to see. The okay, that's a lot better. A lot better. Alternatively, your stock purchase contracts may obligate us to purchase from holders and obligate holders to sell to us a specified or varying number of shares of common stock or preferred stock. The price per share and the number of shares may be fixed at the time the stock purchase contracts are entered into or may be determined by reference to a specific formula set forth in the stock purchase contracts. The stock purchase contracts may be entered into separately or as part of a unit that consists of a stock purchase contract and warrants. The stock purchase contracts may require us to make periodic payments to the holders of the units or require the holder so yeah the holder of the units to make us to make periodic payments to us. These payments may be unsecured or pre-funded and may be paid on a current or on a deferred basis. The stock purchase contracts may require holders to secure their obligations under the contracts in a specified manner. Units. The following description contains general terms and provisions of units to which any prospective supplement may relate. The particular terms of the units offered by any prospective supplement and the extent, if any, to which such general provisions may not apply to units so offered will be described in a prospectus supplement related to such units. For more information, please refer to provisions of the unit agreement and unit certificates form of which we will file with the SEC at or prior to the time of the scale of the units. For information on incorporation by reference and how to obtain copies of these documents, see the sections of the prospectus entitled where you can find more information and incorporation of certain information by reference. We may issue from time to time in such amounts and in as many distinct series as we determine. We will issue each series of units under a unit agreement to be entered in between us and a unit agent to be designated in the applicable prospectus supplement. When we refer to a series of units, we mean all units issued as part of the same series under the applicable unit agreement. We may issue units considering any other combination of two or more securities described in the prospectus. Each unit will be issued so that the holder of the unit is also the holder of each security including the unit. Thus the holder of a unit will have the rights and obligations of a holder of each included security. These units may be issuable as and for a specific period of time may be transferable as a single security only rather than a separate constitu constituent constituents securities compromising such units. The applicable prospectus supplement will describe the terms of the units offered pursuant to it, including one of the more or following. The titles of the series of units, the designation and terms of units and of securities compromising the units, the aggregate number of the price at which we will issue the number, the units, and any provisions for the insur in, in, yeah, issuance, payment, settlement, transfer, or exchange of the units of the securities compromising the units, the date, if any, on and after which con constituents securities compromising the units will be separately transferable, whether the units will be issued in fully registered or global form, a description of terms of any unit agreement to be entered into between us, a bank or trusted company, as unit agent governing the units, a discussion of material US federal income tax considerations. Page 13. Wow. That's a lot to take in and I'm going to leave on that. The split is right under our nose. Literally, that's what it is. Um, um, so much information to take in and I don't want to push too much into one video so I'm going to end it here but you'll have another video probably coming out on the same day when this one's coming out but be different for one purpose but I hope you enjoyed the video if you're still here please do subscribe if you enjoyed it leave a like if you didn't leave a dislike just put why you didn't like it in the comments below if you did like it Put in the comments why you did like it. Anyway, I hope you apes have a wonderful day. Keep diamond hand in. Come on, diamond hands. That's all what we're all about. Diamond hands. Oh yeah.